If you have wondered how glass CO2 and RF tubes differ, this is the video for you. Today, we dive into the fascinating world of lasers, specifically RF or radio frequency, tubes and glass CO2 tubes. Both are types of lasers used in a myriad of applications, but they operate on different principles and possess distinct characteristics. RF tubes use radio frequency energy to excite the gas mixture inside the tube, typically a cocktail of CO2, nitrogen, and helium. This excitation causes the gas to emit photons, which in turn generate the laser beam. Constructed from metal, these tubes are sealed, robust, and capable of withstanding high power levels and extended use. Their robustness and high power output make RF tubes a popular choice for industrial applications, including laser cutting, welding, engraving, and marking. While they may command a higher upfront cost, RF tubes provide longer lifetimes and superior performance compared to their glass CO2 counterparts. On the other hand, glass CO2 tubes also contain a similar mixture of CO2, nitrogen, and helium gases. However, their mode of operation differs. Instead of using radio frequency energy, they typically employ direct current or DC electrical discharge to excite the gas mixture and generate the laser beam. As their name suggests, these tubes are made of glass. While generally less expensive compared to RF tubes, they are more fragile, yet their affordability and effectiveness make them a viable option for smaller scale applications such as hobbyist laser engraving and cutting machines, medical devices, and some industrial applications where lower power levels are sufficient. So in summary, while both RF tubes and glass CO2 tubes are types of CO2 lasers, they differ in their method of gas excitation and their construction materials. RF tubes, more robust and suitable for high power industrial applications, contrast with glass CO2 tubes, which are more affordable and suitable for smaller scale applications. To further build your laser or woodworking knowledge base, do explore our other simple explanation videos. And don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. You might also want to check out our playlist called Starting the Laser Hobby for Dummies. And if you're interested in joining a community of laser enthusiasts, our Facebook group, Laser Freedom, welcomes you. It's a laser manufacturer group where comments are deleted. We consider and all laser companies equal. Remember, our knowledge grows by sharing information with others. And all we want is for you is to select the right tool for the job.